Okay then guys, we're going to look at this section on transformations. I'm going to say a couple of the rules here, and then when we do the harder ones, I'll say a little bit more in the next section. But I just want to say the simple rules that we use first of all here. So when we move things around an equation, and we want to rearrange or transform something, um, and we've got the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, like here, there's a couple of examples here. If we move something across the equals horizontally from one side to the other, all we have to do is flip the sign. So for example, if we wanted to move this 3, across the equals and move it over to be with the 5. Basically, essentially what we do is we can move it, so leave everything else where it is, so the 2 stays where it is, the 5 stays where it is. This 3 can be moved, but we flip the sign according to that rule there. So can you see that's still true? 2 does still equal 5 minus 3. So there's nothing wrong with doing that in an equation, and of course we can move something back. So suppose I wanted to move the 5 back in the next line. Leave the 2 where it is, I move that 5 to be with it, and it flips the sign to minus 5, doesn't it? And leave the minus 3 there. And that's still true, isn't it? Minus 3 still equals minus 3. So we haven't done anything wrong. So that is a, a rule that we can use. If we want to move things over, uh, we can do so in, in that manner. Um, so that's that rule. So let's, uh, now I want to talk about the other rule, which is moving from divide to times, and what can go wrong there, and common mistakes that can happen. And I think I'll illustrate that really with this example here. Uh, a half equals, so let's move that down into the middle of the thing, and we'll look at that now. Um, a half equals 1 minus a half. Now, if I want to move from times to divide, the 2 on this is divide on this side, it's underneath, isn't it? And according to this rule, we can move something from divide on one side up to times on the other. That's the rule that we're accustomed to using or from times on one side to divide on the other side. So if I move that half up, the 1 can stay where it is. So we'll write the 1 equals. Now if I move the 2 from divide up to times to be with the 1, 2 lots of 1 minus a half, what do we end up with? 1 is equal to, this would be 2 minus a half, and we'd get 1 and a half. Does 1 equal 1 and a half? Uh, no. Right? So we can't do that. So when we say we can move something from divide up to times, it cannot be in this way that we can do it. You notice as far as it's in the context of the side of the equation. So when we move that 2 up from divide on this side, see everything on this side is just the 1 term here, is divided by 2. So when you move it up to times, everything on this side must be multiplied by 2. Here I only multiplied by part of it. And I did that here just to illustrate it because that is one of the most common mistakes you see. People think, oh, I'll move that from divided times and they can just do part of the side. And that isn't going to work. And you can always check the rules. It's helpful to check the rules of simple examples so that you can remind yourself of what's what. So let's do it correctly then. The 2 is divide on this side. Let's leave the 1 where it is. On this side we've got 1 minus a half. And we're going to move that 2 up from from divide on that side, this is then all the stuff on that side, up to times on this side. Because this is a side and it consists of more than one term, um, as far as the side is concerned, we can put the bracket, and the 2 up moves up to be multiplied by it. So it's two lots of that bracket. Using the rules for expansion then, we draw two lines, as we did in the previous section. Two ones are two. Two times minus a half is uh, minus one. Two minus one is equal to one. So can you see that's the rule? And I know I uh, painstakingly mentioned it here, but it is worth emphasizing because it is a time and time again, it's a mistake that uh, and a trap that people can fall into. So I thought I'd mention it there. So don't forget that then. These are the simple we're going to do in this section. We're going to move things through the equals. We flip the sign and we'll only move it from times on one side to divide on the other side. That's it. That's all we can do in this section essentially and then we simplify things and collect terms up together so all on all the best on this section then guys and i'll catch you in the next one cheers